What is up guys, Coffee My Passion here and yes, this day finally came. I got my Commandante and we're gonna do the unboxing and first look right now. But before that, I'd just like to let you know why, why did I buy this and, and why do you need a good coffee grinder? There are different types of grinders and um, probably when you're starting uh, the most common choice is of course uh, the electric grinder, this is a blade grinder. It actually uses a blade to cut your coffee like this. And after a few seconds of pressing this button, you have a grounded coffee. It creates a lot of dust. And when you have a lot of dust in coffee, it will probably do the over extracted brew and you're not gonna like it. It will be very bitter and it just doesn't work good. So if you're using a good kind of coffee, I probably don't recommend this. My second choice was a burr grinder, a hand grinder. And here is one that I was using for like four years. It was a very good grinder for me, uh, especially when I was learning how to brew coffee, uh, what coffee I like. It is a burr grinder. You can adjust the size of the grind as you want. You just unscrew the top, fidget a little bit uh, with the metal parts here so you can adjust your grind if you want it for an espresso or for a drip or for a Chemex. Uh, it's pretty basic and you don't have a lot of control on, on the grind. So there's a huge step between uh, each setting on this grinder. But for the beginners, it's is more than enough. It's a Helios Curtain. It's a good one. And finally, there's a time for change. I have my Commandante grinder right here. Woo! It's so exciting. I was like, I've read a lot about this and I saw the tests. It's like a Ferrari in the grinder section. I just can't wait to open this, so let's do this. Looking at the box, it already feels premium. It's got a lot of details. This one is the best. Nitro blade grinder. Let's open the box. And inside, we have some some paper, some leaflets, and a little card. Your grinder has been quality checked and packed with love by Bianca K. And the paper on the top of it. Oh, look at the setup here. It looks really, really fantastic. Let's start from, from the jars. We got here two jars. The brown and the white one. You can grind coffee using both of them uh, on the grinder and you have one left for grounded coffee. You can screw the lid and the top of it and you're good to go. You can travel with this. That's a really nice touch. Mm. Then you have a handle. The detachable handle, pretty stiff. Wooden finish, well, it feels nice. And the grinder itself, look at this, it's, it is packed with the paper. Okay, so we're not gonna need this anymore. Wow, bench style. That's a color I picked. It's supposed to be a, a dark brown. It's heavy. Oh, let's open the, the paper. Oh, wow, it's packed really nice. I had the chance to buy it uh, discounted a little bit uh, on a coffee desk. And speaking of coffee desk, <laughs> I requested them to draw me a cat that is grinding with my Commandante. And <laughs> look what they gave me. It was really, really nice drawing. Whoa, and here it is. This is 
amazing piece of art. This material is high quality and it literally looks like real wood. Let's put the lid on the top. Oh, it's got a little magnet, I think. It sticks right in. Wow, it's so smooth. Look at how quiet it is. It just barely any sound coming out of this. At the bottom, there is a stainless steel burrs. They are so smooth and it looks like a really high quality and premium thing. This one has a stabilized burrs. It means they're not moving uh, while you're grinding and it helps coffee to be consistent and all the grind is very similar and the same size. There's a little notch that you can twist to change the grind size. If you just put your hand on the top, you can you can just click and pick whatever grind size you want. And it's really smooth and satisfying. That's the best mechanism of changing the grind size I've ever seen. All mechanism is hidden inside. So you just switch here and all adjustments are made inside of the grinder. We are good to go. Brand new Comandante right in front of me. I can't wait to find out is it really grinding so well and all the coffee should be grounded so evenly. It doesn't create a lot of dust. It's the top class and I can't wait to use it. Let's grind some coffee. Let me grab some beans and I am back to you in a minute. And I'm back with the coffee. I'm gonna be grinding uh, La Capra Mercuria Mergia. It's one of my favorite coffees. We're gonna start from setting it up to around 26 clicks. Uh, I believe it would be good for the drip. Okay, it's spinning. Let's put a jar on the bottom and put some coffee in here. I'm not gonna wait it. It's just for the testing purposes. Closing the lid. First grinding experience. It is super smooth. I remember this coffee was a bit harder right here <laughs> oh, it's like a butter oh come on and it's done it's smooth it's quick and it's a perfect grinder I didn't believe it's the first time I ever touched this grinder and I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I think I'm gonna do the comparison of grinding, of the grind sizes, of the consistency uh, between these and maybe I'll get some more grinders to this showdown and for now that's all. I hope you enjoy this and I'm gonna keep posting a lot of cool photos because this one is beautiful. See you next time and happy grinding and brewing.